Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting me here, hi, I'm Maria and I'm so glad that you're joining me. So for today's video, I just wanted to film a quick little get ready with me. I am going out shopping for like a bed and a chair and like some other decor for my apartment, which I will be moving into very, very soon. So I have to kind of get all that stuff sort of finalized at least to some extent. So that is what I'm doing tonight. But I just wanted to be like a little bit more presentable out in public shopping than, you know, just a t-shirt and athletic shorts. So I figured that I would film a quick little get ready for me. I'm not planning on doing like a full-blown like makeup look. Especially in the summertime, I don't really get like fully ready unless I am like on vacation and going out to dinner or, you know, like doing something special. So on a daily basis where I do put makeup on a lot of days, I don't. But when I do, um, it's just like a quick little foundation and concealer and like a little bit of eye makeup but not too much. I haven't really sat down and filmed in what seems has been like a really really long time. It has only been a few weeks. My vacation vlog just went up and since like going on vacation I haven't sat down and filmed and that was like two weeks ago so it seems like forever but it's really not that long but I am excited to get back to talking about makeup because that is basically what I like centered my whole channel around so let's just get started. To prime my face, I am going to go in with this Tarte Base Tape. Um, it's like a hydrating primer, and you know I need all the hydration I can get, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of that to my face. This stuff is like really, really thin and runny, so you kind of have to be careful with it. Okay, so now that we are primed and ready to go, I'm gonna go in with some foundation. Today I am using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This is in the shade 14 Vanilla. Um, I really, really like this. It's kind of thicker and more full coverage, so if it's something that you're looking for, um, definitely try this out. If you don't like thicker foundations, though, I wouldn't recommend this just because it is like that foundation and concealer consistency, so you do have to be in the mood to be wearing like a thicker foundation to want to put this on your face, but I do think it covers pretty well. Not the most full coverage that I've ever tried, but it is like pretty full coverage, so you won't be like let down in that department completely. It also is relatively affordable um, especially for Sephora like comparing it to drugstore it is a little bit pricier I think this is around like $30 I want to say so um, definitely on the cheaper end of like Sephora makeup it's not like a $40 or $50 foundation so it is a little bit more affordable for Sephora but again that doesn't really compare to drugstore prices and then I'm just going to blend this out with the Thermal Techniques sponge all right, now that that is blended all over my face, I'm gonna go in with some concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, also in the shade Vanilla. This is pretty light for me right now, um, so I'm not gonna like go crazy and put it everywhere, mostly just under my eyes, um, because I don't want to be like too light on the rest of my face. I can handle my under eyes being a little bit lighter, but I don't want it all over my face because that'll just look crazy. <laughs> And then I'm also going to just pat a little bit of this onto my eyelid as well because on days where I know that I'm not going to be wearing my makeup for very long, like right now it is already 5 o'clock so I don't really see a point in putting eye primer on. But on days where I'm not doing like a really really intricate makeup look or something that like has to look flawless and perfect, I will just like throw on some concealer on my eyelids because A, it saves my eyeshadow primer which can save money in the long run and B, it is just a lot easier to throw some concealer on than have to waste products that you won't even really be getting the full effect from because eye primer is like gonna help your makeup last longer and I don't really need that when I'm be wearing my makeup for like five hours. All right, and lately I have just been into setting my under eyes and a little bit on my smile lines because I do get a little bit of creasing there, but as you guys may know, I have to set my under eyes because for some reason I always get mascara transferred onto my under eye. It is such a problem that I don't like to have, but setting my eyes with a little bit of powder usually seems to fix that problem at least somewhat. So I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Fit Me powder and just take a little bit of that on this um, fluffy brush from It Cosmetics and just pat that on my under eyes. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit and set the little wrinkles where my smile lines are because I really, really get major creasing there, especially when I don't set my makeup. And then before I get started on my eyes, I am just going to brush through my brows a little bit with this EcoTools spoolie on most days where I'm just doing like a chill sort of makeup look. I don't really care about filling in my brows because um, they're kind of a little bit fuller and more shaped. Like to begin with, the only parts that kind of need filling in are just in the front here, but 
that is something that I don't really mind having a little bit more sparsely hair filled, I guess. All right, and then for my eyes today, I'm gonna go in with the Naked Heat Palette. I have really been into using this lately. Um, I got it like two years ago, I think that's when it came out, and I liked it a lot at first, but then I kind of just stopped using it because it is very like red and brown tones, and I typically like that, but it's not like ideal for everyday wear. Um, I think I would enjoy this palette a lot more if the shimmers performed better. That is really what I find to be the problem with this palette. The mattes look so nice on the eyes, but the shimmers just don't have that like pop that I really like shimmers to have. I don't know if it is just Urban Decay shimmers in general or if it is like the way that they are made in this palette so that is why I kind of don't use this palette that often because I don't feel like pulling out another palette although it seems pretty easy I just don't want to have to go through every single day when I want to use this palette pulling out another one that has better shimmers in it so I kind of just stray away from this altogether but I am kind of getting back into using the mattes because I do think that the red tones and brown tones in this are really really pretty and something that I've drawn to so I am just going to go into this shade chaser right here here just to kind of set my eyelids a little bit because we did put that concealer on them and it may get a little bit sticky and hard to move like other shadows around and then I'm gonna go into the shade low blow with this like fluffy Farrah brush and just kind of blend that on to like my outer corners and all up through my crease a little bit messily because it is just a pretty neutral shade so it doesn't have to be completely perfect Okay, I changed my mind since I really, really don't feel like playing around with any of the shimmers in this palette and I don't want to complicate things and go into another one. I think I'm just going to put that shade low blow on my entire lid, so I'm just going to add it to like my inner corners here. And then I am probably going to take either the shade Cayenne or He Devil and just pop that on my outer corners to give a little bit of a red tone touch. And then now I'm just going to take this fluffy side of this double-sided Luxie brush and pop into the shade Cayenne and just put that on my outer corners to give a little bit of something. And then lastly, to finish the eyes, I am just going to take this shimmer shade here, Ounce, and just put that on my inner corners and my brow bones to add a little bit of highlight. And now I'm going to go in with my trusted Monsieur Big Mascara from Lancome and then I will be right back. And now for the rest of my face, I am first going to go in with some like bronzer contour mix. This is actually a bronzer from Sugar Cosmetics. This is in the shade 02 Woody Wonder. It is kind of just this light toned cool brown. I actually got this in an Ipsy a while back and I have rediscovered it in the past like week or so and I've really been loving it for just that like everyday simple contour. It's not too much but it definitely gives that kind of contour bronzy effect so I really really like it. And I'm just taking it on this fluffy Farrah brush to pop onto my cheeks. And then for blush I'm gonna go in with the Buxom blush in the shade Seychelles. And then I'm just going to pop on a little bit of highlight. This is the Ofra highlight in Star Island. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on the very, very tips of my cheekbones because I don't wanna be too crazy just for going out shopping tonight, so. And then a little bit on the very, very tip of my nose and a little bit on my Cupid's bow too. And then for lips, I'm just gonna go in with the Too Faced um, Sweet Peach Lipstick in the shade Got Peach. This is one of my absolute favorites, as I'm sure you guys know. And then to finish things off, I'm just going to set my face with the e.l.f. Illuminating Setting Mist. Um, as you guys may know, I absolutely hate the smell of this stuff, but it gets the job done, especially for when you're not wearing your makeup for a really long length of time. And it is pretty affordable too, so I'd rather use an affordable setting spray when I won't have my makeup on for very long than one that is really pricey because that just seems like a little bit of a waste of money in my opinion. And this is the finished makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick 
simple get ready with me. If you want to see more get ready with me's in the future, definitely let me know down below. And I am open to doing any sort of type of get ready with me, whether it is just something that is very, very natural and minimal or something that is a little bit more simple like this or even something that is like specific event based makeup. Um, definitely let me know what you want to see because I am open to anything. But thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end with me. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.